Well, as the war rages in Syria, US Secretary of State John Kerry says the United States is making significant headway in Geneva-based talks with Russia's Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov. Kerry and Lavrov aim to realise a truce in the war-torn country through bilateral efforts between the US and Russia. Danny Swibel has the details. The U.S. Secretary of State said parties don't want to have a deal for the sake of a deal and hope all sides can come to the table soon in Geneva to find a political solution. The U.S. and Russians, despite stepped-up collaboration against extremist groups like the Islamic State, are on opposite sides of the fight, with the situation remaining complicated on the ground. Apo continues to be besieged and bombarded by the regime and its allies, including Iran, Russia and Hezbollah. And the regime just today forced the surrender of Daraya after a brutal four years of the siege and continues to take territory in the Damascus suburbs, which I might add uh, runs counter to two iterations of a previously announced cessation of hostilities, which is what brings us here today. Several rounds of peace talks have ended in failure since the conflict began more than five years ago, killing almost 300,000 people and displacing millions. The U.S. aims to bolster moderate rebel forces, with the Russians directly supporting forces loyal to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Russia frequently has disagreed over which groups are legitimate targets. When asked if Russia would stop targeting moderate rebel groups in order to bring about calm, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov focused on the continuing fight against extremist groups in the country. It's not that we are talking about any air forces being grounded. What we are talking about is the aviation in the Syrian sky to be efficient in this fight against the Islamic State and Jabhat al-Nusra. Kerry and Lavrov held a 10-hour meeting, with Kerry saying, quote, the vast majority of technical issues had been completed. But with vicious fighting continuing in the divided city of Aleppo and Turkish-backed rebels seizing the Syrian border town of Jarbulus from IS fighters, as well as Turkey entering directly into the fray, shelling U.S.-backed Syrian Kurdish militia, it seems calm will remain elusive.